All right, next up is time. And I've grown this in a huge big pot, so I was just able to bring that inside because it's still raining. Now, thyme is a really beautiful herb. It smells amazing, great with chicken, great with pizzas, um, really anything, omelets, beautiful. Um, it's a woody herb though, not um, a really sort of non-woody herb. Um, so I find that drying this one, just by hand drying it in little um, groups, is a really great way to do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to snip some off with my prunus. Up here, and I'm just going to try and get it into a group about the size of what I think I would use while I was cooking. Sort of not always super easy. That's all right. If if it's sort of long and dangly and hangy, just chop it. You know, make it into a little bundle that you like the look of as well. Because by hanging it up, you need to actually hang it somewhere. And you can hang it in your kitchen because it smells really good, um, or in a shed, in a carport, somewhere that will stay dry. Now that's about a nice clump here. And I just have some string, just sewing string. And all I'm going to do is tie the bottom of this clump up really, really well. Lots of rounds, keeping the end free. Sorry, can't really see it, but I've got an end free here that I'll tie it off with in a minute. No, tangled, tangled. Alrighty. And I'm just gonna tie a little knot. That's not gonna come undone anytime soon. And then leave, there we go, leave a bit you know, about yay long, so that you can hang that up when you find the right place to hang it. Now that will just hold itself like that for ages. The leaves won't necessarily fall off. You might get one or two little ones, um, but they generally hold onto their woody stems really, really well. And that's why I love hang drying the thyme. Just the smell, the look, I think it's really pretty. So I'll do another couple of these and I'll show you where I'm going to dry them. spare room excuse the mess um, and you can see I've just got a clothes error here and I worked this out ages ago because a clothes error takes up no room at all and it's a nice airy way to dry my herbs so all I need to do is sort of wrap the string around um, a couple of times and this will just you know hold stacks of herbs and I can put anything on here, a good mixture of things. It's out of the way and does everything I need it to do. I mean, if it can dry clothes, it can dry herbs, right? They're not going anywhere. And you can see down the bottom here is some that I've had drying for a little while and they haven't dropped any of their leaves. This is just a little branch, obviously not tied in properly. But how good is that? And there's heaps of room for them to hang and dry. So I'll have that filled up in no time.